Welcome to this topic which is on the t-test. My name is Jennifer Stirrup and I'm going to give a brief overview of the t-test. What is the t-test? Well, it was devised by William Serley Gossett who worked at the Guinness factory as a scientist with the objective of using science to produce the perfect pint. The t-test helps us to work out whether two sets of data are actually different or not. It takes two sets of data and it calculates the count, the mean and the standard deviation. The count is simple enough, that's simply the number of data points. The mean is the average. The standard deviation is a tool that tells us roughly how far on average each number in the list of data varies from the average value of the list itself. The t-test is more sophisticated. It tells us if the two means of each data group is different or not. So let's go ahead and look at Excel. So here in group A and group B, we have got two different sets of data. The first item we see here is the count and that tells us how many data points are in each group. And we have got nine. The second thing we work out is the average. And the average simply totals up all of the data points for each group and then divides it by the number of data points in that particular group. So for example, when we look at group A, if we add up all of the items in group A, the total sum comes to 41. 41 divided by 9 gives us an average as an integer is 5. If we want to look at the number in more detail, we can see it's actually 4.6 is specified as the average here. Now then we can look at the standard deviation. The standard deviation is given as 3 here and we use the default Excel formula for that. And that tells us how far on average each data point is away from the mean. Now we also see some of the numbers here and to see the values of those we can look at the function arguments here. So we've got our data points here in B2 and BC and what we see here are the tails. The tail it says here specifies the number of distribution tails to return 1 or 2. What does that actually mean? What that means is we need to work out or we would need to guess rather whether the mean of the second group is could be different from the mean of the first group and how that could be different. Could it vary in above the mean or below the mean of group 1 or is it likely just to go above the mean only or below the mean only? If we think that the mean is only going to move in one direction then we put in 1. If we're not sure then we specify number 2. And I've put number 2 here in order just to be sure that we are covering the case that we think is the most likely one. The second item we've got here is type. This tells us what kind of t-test we're actually doing. And here we've chosen number 3. We've chosen the third type because we have two samples, two separate samples. These are not linked together in any way. And we have also specified unequal variance. We're not sure if the variance is very equal or not. It certainly seems to be that the variance is nearly the same, not quite. However, we decide just to proceed and use the safest option, which is number three, where we can say that we are not sure. And what that does is it gives us a probability of 20% that there's no difference between the two groups or not. If the probability was less than 5%, then this would show that there's a significant difference between the two groups. We can also see this if we try a different data set. In this data set, we have got group A and group B, and we can see these in the graph on the right hand side here. Group A is identified by the blue bars, and we can see those there. And group C, on the other hand, identified by the orange bars, and we want to try to work out are the data points different for each group? Now, as before, we calculate the number of data points for each group. Then what we do here 
is we calculate the average. And this time it looks like the averages of each group are quite different from each other. We also take the standard deviation. And those seem to differ quite widely as well from each other. And that gives us an overall probability of 2%. And that basically means that if the highlighted value is less than 5%, then it's most likely that there's a significant difference between the two groups. If the value was greater or equal to 5%, then it would show that there were no significant difference between two groups. So why do we choose 5%? In science, we specify 5% because it's equal to 1 time out of 20 that the result is due to chance. Now it really depends what test you're actually using. You could be using something that's quite simple and straightforward or if the test is more complex then actually the t-test would form one part of a wider range of statistical tests. But for now to summarise, the t-test can help us to conclude whether one group is different from another.